Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, grace and blessings of Lord be always upon you. Today we see the disciples of Jesus gloating over the miraculous events that accompanied their preaching the name of Jesus. I still remember when I was ordained as a priest, there were tears in the eyes of my mother. And those tears, as we know, were not tears of sorrow, but tears of joy. She was happy and proud that her son became priest. And today we see Jesus being happy and proud over the achievements of his disciples. But Jesus confirms and tells them that what they have witnessed is right, but they should be cautious that they should not delight upon the mere things that happened, but delight upon the fact that the gospel of God, the kingdom of God is spread to people. The way to they were to rejoice in the free gift of redemption Christ offered them. How many spiritual leaders have we seen falling because they got inaugurated at some point of time by their own spiritual power? We all say this prayer, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inherbrate me. If you go and Google the meaning of inherbrate, it says to be drunk with. And when I say blood of Christ, inherbrate me, I am saying blood of Christ, take control of me. Help me to be filled with you and may your presence dominate rule my life, rule my entire being. And when these leaders are inaugurated, not by the blood of Christ, not by the presence of Christ, but by the power that which they think is from them. That's why many say that, Na valana, because of me you have been healed, because of me you have children. Because of me, you can walk. Not because of you. It's because of the Lord who works through you. We are mere instruments. A microphone. After a great preaching, people don't go to the microphone and say, you have done a good job. They go to the speaker. And speaker is the Lord. We are mere microphones mere instruments, but we have to be careful because a faulty microphone can very well block the word of the speaker from reaching the people and a faulty instrument of the word can block the word from reaching the people. We are mere instruments. Light shines through us, it does not shine from us. The best way to escape such temptations is to do things to please God and not ourselves. Lord, help me to make you rejoice. We should be event managers of parties in heaven. And when we have heard this prodigal or this parable of prodigal son, the lost coin and the lost sheep, the 10th chapter of the Gospel of Luke, what we see after each of them, there is, there is much excitement in heaven, partying in heaven over one repentant sinner. So, we should become event managers, event of parties in heaven by helping sinners convert, by coming back to God and helping people come back to God by helping people receive the good that the good God has kept for them. So today, dear brothers and sisters, let us look at our life and ask this question. 
what are my actions? Are they for my glory, for my good, for my well-being? Or am I even worried a bit of pleasing God through my actions, of glorifying God through my actions? St. Ignatius would very well say, all things for the greater glory of God. Amen.